Hello there, and welcome to the Skills Team's top advice for critical analysis. We're going to talk today about our five top tips for how you can use critical analysis and get it into your work. So our first top tip is actually that criticize means both being negative and also being positive. This is often overlooked, and actually you can be critical by finding supporting sources and looking at the positives and the strengths of a particular source as well as also looking at where a source is weak. So keep that in mind and make sure you look at both sides of the source and to keep your arguments balanced. So our second tip is something that I always tell students. Everyone is critical in their daily lives and you don't even know it. So when you decide about which, what you're going to drink, tea or coffee, you're being critical. If you're choosing a certain brand for a product, you're being critical. Choosing when you go for lunch, if you're choosing how you're going to get to work or what time you're going to wake up, all of these decisions have a reason why and have justifications and have strengths and weaknesses that you can look at. And by just making those decisions, you are showing that you're critical. All you need to do is then apply the, that same logic and that same reasoning to your academic work. And that's how you get do critical analysis. So talking about applying, there's six key questions that you want to ask when actually using critical analysis. So those, they may seem quite normal and they may seem like some of the stuff you've done when you're at high school and A-levels, but that is because critical analysis isn't too difficult once you know what you're doing. So all you need to ask is who? So for example, who wrote the source? Was it a student? Was it a professor? Is it someone who's talking in their subject area? And maybe why might they actually be publishing that source? What? So what is the source? What type of literature is it? Where did you find it? Is it a journal? Is it a newspaper article? When? So when did the source come out? Where? So where was the source published? Was it published in an area or in the same country? Was it, was it published in a place that you can actually use? Or was it published elsewhere in somewhere which has got a similar system that is still usable. You can ask how, so how was the method carried out? And finally, and the most important question is why? So looking at why people do things in a certain way, why is all this relevant? So that's the question I would always ask after you ask one of these, so who, what, when, where, how? I'd ask why is that actually important? So that's the third tip. So in this tip, we're going to talk about how you can actually get your critical analysis into your work. So how can you actually apply it? Because that is the key, applying that analysis to your work. So first of all, one way you can do it is you can look at the strengths or the weaknesses and methods. So you can look at things like the data collection size. You could look at the strengths or weaknesses in their theories. So you can often do this by comparing other sources or other theories to it or by looking into and asking those key questions about those theories you can compare and contrast arguments and this is crucial so if you do your wider reading you can have two different sources that may say different things and you can use those questions to justify which one is better and why you can group authors together so you can have authors and say these authors argue one point these authors argue another and that again is done by wider reading and another method you could use is constructive suggestions or improvements, so looking at ways that you can improve a particular source. So what can be done to make that source better? Or what could be done to improve that particular piece of work? So those are just a few ways that you can actually apply critical analysis to your work. But there are some more ways out there. So try and be creative and think about other ways that you could ask questions of those particular sources. And our final tip is after you've done all your critical analysis, try and reach some form of judgment. Otherwise, there's no point to your actual analysis. Why is that analysis actually relevant to your work? What's the point of it? And how does it impact the overall question? What does it mean? Make sure to write that, and I would recommend being quite explicit in how you write it. So, the key thing with critical analysis is applying the key questions that we've just discussed into your essay. You do it in your everyday life, all you need to do 
is to ask those questions on academic sources rather than everyday sources. This may have only been a brief guide into critical analysis, but there are some further detailed guides out there. First of all, we have our skills guide, which is linked in the description of this video. Check that out for some information that's been written by the skills team. And secondly, there is a podcast in episode five of the assignment journey where we discuss critical analysis, how you can make your assignment flow, and also we give some advice for writing assignments. So be sure to check those out and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.